1. Raise the paddy combined harvester to the flat surface before dismantling. Lower the header to its lowest position. Stop and turn off the main power switch. 2. Loosen the tightening wheels and remove the connecting belts on both sides of the bridge. Prepare hoisting the assembly of the bridge header ahead of time. Dismantle the connecting pin on oil cylinder of the header. Remove fixing bolts on both sides of bridge. Finally separate the assembly of bridge header from the whole machine. 3. Remove the chain and loosen the locking nuts on both sides. Use special tools to remove pulleys and sprockets at both sides. Remove the flat keys at both sides. Remove the baffle for the holes. 4. Remove the locking nut and screw of the driving sprocket. 5. Tap the shaft from one side to the other side to remove the bearings at both sides. Then pull the drive shaft from one side. Finally check the damaging condition of drive shaft. Precautions for removal. 1. Replace the drive shaft of the bridge, to disassemble the bridge assembly is the fastest method for dismantling. 2. Use special tools to remove the pulley and sprocket. 3. When dismantling the bearing on both sides of the driving shaft, firstly not from one side and wait until the bearing is dismantled and then tap the bearings in the other direction to remove the bearings on the other side. 4. Use a copper hammer to tap the driving shaft and the thread of the damaged end of the shaft. 6. Weld and install two anti-winding barrels and fixing tubes before installation. Firstly put the anti-winding barrel into the bridge shell. 7. Install bridge drive shaft. The bridge drive shaft shall be aligned with the drive sprocket when it is installed because the drive shaft is a square shaft. Install bearing rings and grease both ends of drive shaft. Use tool to install two bearings at both sides in place separately. Single ring is used for mounting holes. 8. Install flat keys on both sides. Install drive sprocket and reverse pulley on the right drive shaft. Note, only drive pulleys are installed on the left. 9. Install the rings and lock the nuts. Tightening moment, 122 to 149 nm. 10. Apply fastening glue to the locking hole of the drive sprocket. Install hexagonal pyramidal tip fastening screws. Final lock with a nut. 11. After installing the chain rake assembly of the bridge, lock the anti-winding barrel assembly. Rotate the anti-winding barrel to check the installation. 12. Install the transmission chain on the right side of bridge assembly. By jointing the bridge header assembly and hull machine, install and tighten the bolts on both sides with tightening moment 182 to 222 nm. 13. Finally mount the belts on both sides of the bridge and tighten them. Precautions for installation 1. Use special tools to install the bearings on both sides in place in one step. 2. After the bearings on both sides have been installed, be sure to remember to use the retaining rings for the mounting hole. 3. The installation and adjustment of chain rack are not introduced in detail here. See the video disassembly and assembly of chain rake of the paddy combined harvester bridge for details. 4. Be sure to remember to install locking screws on this sprocket at both ends to avoid reworking. 14. Operating machinery, field inspection of installation of disassembled components. 15.1. 